Hello there, today's video is going to be an Ask Jim. It's a Q&A, and I am going to A the hell out of all of your cues. Would you ever get a tattoo? If yes, what would it be? I swing from pillar to post with tattoos. I like the idea of them, I just don't like the idea of them on my pasty, horrible body. My brother has two tattoos, which suit him really well, but would look awful on me. If I were to get one, I would get song lyrics, like, probably like a Radiohead lyric or something, somewhere on me. But I'm just quite long, like if I have to do it on my forearm, I could fit like a whole paragraph on such a long forearm. So, um, I don't know. I am on the fence and I think a tattoo is something you need to really commit to. Being on the fence and getting a tattoo is a really terrible idea. You need to 100% know what you want. So for the time being, no. I'm probably never actually because Tanya's told me she'd hate me with one. So no, never. This is a good question. If you had to be any character from any Harry Potter movie, who would you be? Voldemort. Without hesitation, definitely Voldemort. Spoiler alert, I know he dies at the end, but I think that's uh, a reasonable price to pay because he's so cool. Like. He is the most powerful wizard, like, ever. And he's also just evil, so will do whatever he wants to, which means he's got no restrictions and gets to just enjoy his magic. And he gets to let his hair down. I know he doesn't have any hair, but he gets to let his metaphorical hair down. And if someone crosses him, he'll just blow them up. How do you deal with stress? I have 11 plus exams over the next few weeks, and I'm really nervous about them. Help! Right, when it comes to exam season, I get so many tweets from people going, ah, exams, what do I do? Help me, help me, help me. My advice is always just drop the Fs. It doesn't matter that much. I've got good exams. I've never used them. Like, not once have I used any of my exams. School is obviously important, and it's really good for learning stuff and being made into a socially acceptable human being. But at the same time, I think now, in the day and age we're living in, exams and results are counting for less and less and less. I've been to university. I started doing a master's, which is kind of one step on from university, and I stopped halfway through because this happened. We're in the day and age now where you can sort of make your own success. That being said, do try your very hardest. Don't let your um, intellects or your hard work go to waste, but just don't stress out about them because they're exams. They're not that important. They don't define you. You are better than any result you get in any one exam. How did you meet Tanya? Love heart face. Now, I have told you this before, but it's quite a long time ago. So if you're new here, um, I met my wife uh, about nine years ago at a house party. I just left um, sixth form, which is kind of like college, but not, uh, and I was on to university. She was uh, still at the sixth form I just left, although we didn't know each other. She turned up to a house party that I was hosting with my best friend, who she actually fancied, and I'd had a few to drink, so I was feeling quite bold. I answered the door and went, oh hi, I know you, I recognise you, uh, what's your name? And we started talking. She then realised that my friend at the time had a girlfriend, so was kind of a bit devastated and hung out with me all night, and I flirted my tushy off. She thought I was gay, um, but it wasn't until Kate, who is actually downstairs in my house right now, said to Tanya, do you know what, I don't think he is gay, I think he's just quite a nice guy. And then that is how it happened. How does it feel to be second best dressed? Now, this comes from uh, a Twitter user called Harry's Fan, who has um, a picture of Harry Styles as their icon. Now, you might have missed this, um, recently I was voted as second best dressed guy in the UK by the readers of GQ. So if any of you guys voted, thank you very, very much. Um, the person who was first best dressed was uh, Harry Styles. Third best was Zayn Malik, so I fit right between the two. I'm very happy with that result, I think it's brilliant. Um, this person is obviously a Harry Styles fan and is like, ha ha, Harry beat you. I'm really happy with that. To be like second to Harry Styles in anything is, is really good. So yeah, I'm chuffed, thank you. How excited are you for your honeymoon? P.S. Hope it all goes well. Smiley face, love you. So, whilst you're watching this video, I am currently in South Africa. I'm either um, looking at lions eating zebras or I am on a beach, or I'm snorkeling, or I'm watching Tani drink wine in wine country, depending on whereabouts we are. Uh, we go to South Africa in a few days, and we go to the kind of like wine country area first to see the sights, uh, and then we go on like safari, so we get to see all the animals and the wildlife, and then we have a few days on an island snorkeling and on the beach and stuff, and I'm so excited. It's really weird because we just had the Christmas break, and it was lovely, I've had like a week and a half back at work and then I go on another break. It's brilliant. Um, so yes, very, very excited to be away. I'll let you know what it was like when I get back. 
What should I name my gecko? I can tell you what you shouldn't name your gecko because I really want two geckos. I want one called Sherlock and one called Watson and no one is allowed to get geckos and call them those names until I've already done it first. Um, I'm actually torn between geckos and uh, bearded dragons. The thing is, I'm really naive to lizards. I, I thought they were like snakes and you only fed them like once every so often and they kind of just lived off that food. Turns out you have to feed them every day, which is a commitment I'm not sure I can do because it's not like my dog, Martha, because I can get a dog sitter. I'm not sure I can get a lizard sitter who would like to feed my lizard crickets and stuff. So um, I have to really think about it. But I want one called Watson and one called Sherlock um, and that will make me very, very happy. They'd also have to live up here because um, Tanya wouldn't like to see them because she's not keen on lizards. Would you rather permanently have something in your eye or permanently have hiccups? That's a tough one. And actually, coincidentally, last night my eye was a little bit irritated and I went to sleep and my eye felt a bit funny. I woke up this morning and it was really gammy and quite bloodshot. It's still not quite right now. I know hiccups suck, but I need my eyes to see, so I'm gonna say I would rather have hiccups than, than something in my eye. Is it okay for Tanya Burr to still use her surname rather than yours? Yes, absolutely 100%. We are in 2016 now, and Tanya can be called whatever she wants to. I didn't marry her because of her surname. I still call her Tanya Burr. Sometimes I just call her Burr. If you watch my second channel, my daily vlogs, there's been quite a few comments going, why are you still calling her that? Isn't she Tanya Chapman now? And no, she's not. She's happy being a Burr, I'm happy being a Chapman, and it's no big deal. When we have kids, we may rethink that, or we may call them Chapman Burr or Burr Chapman, whatever, we'll discuss that when it happens. But for the time being, we're both really happy, um, and she's still a Burr, I'm still a Chapman. Favourite song from Made in the AM? I haven't got the album. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't heard any of them apart from what's been on the radio. Uh, anyway, that is the end of this video because I've talked for bloody ages. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you've liked it. If you have, you know what to do. You can give it a thumbs up, you can share it amongst your friends, you can subscribe, you can leave a comment, you can go check out my second channel where I do daily vlogs, you can like follow me on all the stuff, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, it's all down there. Um, and I will see you very, very soon when I get back from South Africa and hopefully I'll be tanned and glorious and not have been eaten by a lion. Bye!